My name is Tim McMacken, and I'm from Lyleton, Manitoba. I live on section the southwest of 19128. It's my uh, grandfather's farm, and uh, it was then turned to my father, and now it's in its third generation. And it is uh, uh, well, very well planted with tree strips, which were planted by my grandfather and his children, and mm -hmm. uh, and overseen by the group of the, that that. Uh, planted a large number of trees in the Loudoun district in the late 30s and uh, those trees are mostly still here. Uh, they are becoming aged but they are uh, still very 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 important to our uh, operation here. Yes and uh, um, we grow as crops we grow uh, mostly feed for livestock but even if we grow grain crops uh, production in those tree rows uh, we feel is uh, is very much better. Uh, we grow corn as well. Uh, our heat units, I think, are higher in the tree rows, um, and uh, we don't feel there's any problem. The way we farm and raise cattle, uh, we see no detriment whatsoever from the fact that the fields are smaller. Uh, they're long and narrow, the tree rows. Um, there is a, a bit of overseeding. There's a little bit of overspraying in in the overlap, but it, it, it's it's minute to the benefits we receive from the tree rolls. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Um, we have uh, that's our home half where we live. We have uh, other land with most quite a bit of our other land has tree rows on it. Most of them planted at the same time and uh, those tree rows we try to keep the cattle out of it out of them we don't we we aren't successful on all of them fields because we don't have them fenced off but the use of electric fence is a relatively cheap way to keep the cattle back from the trees if cattle are allowed to run in the trees it is a tremendous detriment to the trees and it will take them years to recover from the fact the cattle open them up and break them off at the bottom um, but uh, but in the spring and winter, um, those trees are just a tremendous benefit to the cattle. When the weather conditions change or become abusive, those cattle will automatically go to the tree row, go to the shelter. Um, not always are, are our trees in enough different directions to protect all winds, but we use other uh, portable shelters, other means to, to assist in that. But it, what it allows you to do is feed out a bit from the trees, a bigger area, but the cattle have access back to the protection of the tree. Plus, uh, um, getting away even a little bit from the livestock, even when you tour through our area, and you'll be coming, um, say, from Maletta, or where there's no protection from trees, mm -hmm. the snow will be blowing across the road, and it'll be a relatively stormy day. And then when you come into the Loudon area, all of a sudden the snow is no longer mm -hmm. drifting and it's, it just appears to be much more pleasant. Yeah. So, uh, so even temperature wise, um, in our own yard here, when you step out of the house, you will think it's a very nice day. Right on the west side of our um, driveway is a open quarter section with no trees and it is night and day difference. Uh, very, very obvious as to what the cattle are living mm -hmm. with as well when they're no protection compared to the trees, yes. Any advice for our other cattle producers? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, I would think that uh, other cattle producers in our area that uh, uh, have want to raise livestock or are raising livestock and have trees uh, on their land, um, fence them off with, it doesn't take a lot of fence, so the cattle can't get in, whether it even be just a bluff of trees or whether it's an existing tree row, uh, fence it off and uh, that will be protection for those livestock for years and years. Those trees will always um, seem to kind of uh, replenish themselves, they'll break off but they'll send up another shoot. Um, it's hard to tell. These trees have been here since the 40s and they're still very much a viable protection for livestock and, and wildlife big time too. Um, on, the, on the papers I filled out, 
to mm -hmm. do with uh, deer da or wildlife damage because of the trees. Uh, in our particular area here, that is not not a problem at all. The deer are there, but the damage is our very farm minor. here. We use uh, we have also made use of the portable shelters, and uh, they're 30 feet. They're eight feet high. Uh, they're an excellent shelter, but by them standing alone with no trees, um, uh, in a, in a storm where snow blows a lot, they become buried or, or virtually. Um, no good for the cow because there's so much snow piled into them where with the trees uh, that is not a problem and, and even a few of those things next to a poor row of trees uh, just keep, holds the snow back and gives excellent protection.